Good evening, everyone. It's Josh from Top Gun Main. Welcome back. As promised, I'm going to do the LWRC Reaper and POF P308. Uh, short little video, a little comparison. I don't really mean to try to pit them up against each other. Uh, I have these two rifles, but they're for two different reasons. One is my DMR. That would be the LWRC Reaper. It's a 20-inch spiral fluted heavy barrel. And my other is my Battle uh, 308 AR-10, and that was the POF P308. Both piston driven, but that one is a 16-inch barrel. So it's not going to be able to reach the same distances that that Reaper will be. Uh, and I don't want to BS anybody like uh, some other gun channels and whatnot. I had all intent of doing the Reaper versus the full auto, just to show you the difference between semi-auto and full auto and actual accuracy. But unfortunately, we had some issues with our uh, full auto AR-10. So that's going back to the gunsmith. Uh, it was hanging up the bolt. I'm pretty sure it was on the trigger. Um, so we're going to have that looked at. And then when we get it back, we'll, we'll do the video. But without further ado, let's take a look at these rifles. There is the LWRC Reaper. Again, like I said, I have a, it's a Mark II. This one is not the carbon fiber barrel. It is the 20 inch spiral fluted heavy barrel. I do have a Vortex Viper PST Gen 2, five to 25 by 50 on it. And then over here is the POF P308. Again, like I said, two different reasons why I have these rifles. The POF is more my battle rifle. That's why it has a one to four L can on it with the 7.62 reticle. And um, yeah, let's get into shooting. 